Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning, March 1st in the morning. It's a brisk about 47 degrees and uh, we are out in Sorrento for one of the Florida Gravel Series races. Um, first race for me, first gravel race for me. Um, I think we're at uh, Seminole State Park right out of Rock Springs or Wakaiva. Um, and we're going to be doing, it's going to be my first race, so we're going to be doing the sprint distance 30 miler sports uh, class. Um, and then depending on how I place, uh, look to do the open in the future, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, here's the race rig here. Uh, we got the Colonago Prestige uh, running tubulars and uh, got all my uh, media stuff on there. Uh, the GoPro, the Fly 6, and uh, we're just gonna see how it goes. Apparently it's just mass start race um, and your determined class is indicated on the calf there. So sprint sport for SS. And so we'll see how we do. So let's saddle up and ride. So here we are just patiently waiting for uh, the race to start here. Um, I was not familiar with the course so I lined up towards the front and here we are off. Um, I don't know, I think there's about a hundred guys in this race um, and they start all uh, classes at the same time, just one mass start. So, just getting uh, rolling here, not overly pushing yet. Um, just didn't want to be caught behind traffic, working hard to work your way up towards the front. So, I'm just staying probably about 10, 15 wheel right now. Um, the guy in front of me, blue kit right there, um, George or Jorge, I know him from riding from uh, Lake Apopka Wednesday rides. He's on the mountain bike there. Really strong guy. But this area is just uh, pretty much graveled, nice packed. Um, on the left you see when we're not riding, it is a little bit loose um, and bumpy, and you'll see that when we come in to start the second lap, because it's a lollipop course, as you see on the top right corner, um, the course that we do, we start on the bottom, and the pink little dot works its way up to the lollipop course, and for us being the sprint distance, um, about 15 mile lap, two laps for us. A little bit uh, loose through this area, very minor loose section. The guys are just kind of getting comfortable working their way up. Again, I'm probably about 15th wheel right here. So there's another distance, it's called the endurance distance, which is uh, four laps, roughly 60 miles. They started 15 minutes in front of us. So there'll be times where you see them um, going in the opposite direction or coming towards us. And 
guys will call out or yell out the uh, rider up. This uh, really long street area. Um, not a really technical. Um, again, this area is pretty packed. start to move up. You see there's one outside on the on the left there. Start to get a little crowded. I don't, again, I don't know how many people are in the race, but as you can see in the rear camera or the top left there, a good amount of guys behind. And it's early, so things will start to get, start to shuffle around. We're going pretty decent speed. I don't remember if we have a tailwind here, but uh, you know, we're just kind of cruising here. I'm typically staying around 180, 200 watts. Uh, good cadence, and the speed right here is just 20, 21 miles an hour. I think uh, there's this guy on a mountain bike who's on uh, who has some TT Aero extensions. He's up at the very front, just pretty much leading us all out. I'm happy to follow wheels. Again, I don't know the course. Um, never ridden out in this area, um, and this was my first gravel race. So overall conditions are pretty similar to Lake Apopka. I'm my setup I'm running um, for wheels I'm running NV tubular CX um, tire pressure I'm running about 35 to 40 psi the front I'm running uh, challenge Vago Vango 33 and then the rear, I'm running a, a Generation 1 Specialized Tracer. Um, Nobbies are similar to that of a uh, Rocket Ron. So, just uh, not even really spinning here. You'll hear at times where just kind of soft pedaling and on and off the power. The guys are kind of slowly starting to reshuffle things and move around, reposition themselves. I don't know if you can see on the cab, I think the left cab, um, that's where there's indication of what uh, classification you are. Some guy just went up the left side. And you can see the, the speed has come up. Just then pushing forward to watch. Coming through this section here, picking up the tempo. But generally, it's uh, still pretty, pretty comfortable. So we're up to 25 miles an hour right now. This, this area is pretty rocky. Um, small rocks. It's still packed, but uh, there's some there's some small rocks that I feel could be crushed and smoothed out. But 
in general, this course is pretty smooth. bridge right there and there's this bump right there that I was not aware of. And then we go to this area that's uh, pretty rocky as well. These uh, bends to the right and to the left of the chicane there. You can see now I'm probably about 50th, uh, I'm sorry, about 20th wheel. Maybe even a little further back. And I think I'm Further than I like to be, this guy comes around my right side, and so um, I go to follow here. It kind of does settle in this mountain bike dude here. And then that's one of the groups, but there's still a bunch of guys up front, maybe on 15th wheel. that uh, mountain bike uh, TT aero extension dude, but I call this mountain bike. It was, it was pretty strong. We'll find out later. We catch on and leapfrog onto this group here. But, uh, in the distance you can see there's still a little group out in front of these guys. And gaps a little bit more than uh, a little bit more than uh, I feel is ideal so I start to pick it up here pushing about 700 watts to go around these guys um, just pushing 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 it's kind of the yellow uh, mountain bike black and white kid behind me white helmet he just um, latches on and here we go 500 watts 400 watts and then we catch up pretty much with what's the front group um, heart rate's 182 here definitely push the pace to uh, bridge up to this group and again this is pretty much a front group um, We open up a gap behind us after uh, connecting with these guys here. We're still pushing pretty decent pace. 300 watts, 400 watts. Apparently, from talking to the guys after the race, uh, the first lap was a pretty fast lap. strung out. There's a line of guys. So maybe I'm about 10th wheel here. And there's two mountain bike dudes uh, right behind me. We've got a gap on uh, people behind them. And that's where we just started to pick up the pace to try to separate from all the riders that uh, started with the sprint distance. Slight little drop right there um, around that kind of a, a loose turn.
look behind on the rear camera. Guys, start to catch back up with us. What I like about uh, gravel riding is you pretty much don't really stop pedaling. So if you ever spent time on a trainer, a smart trainer, or rollers, or it's it's pretty much doing that versus um, out road riding and uh, group riding on the road. Uh, you can coast, or really, to be honest, there's a good amount of coasting time. Back up to pushing the pace here. Speeds back up. Um, you can see slightly in the distance there's some guys up there. Um, but in general, we're all together. There you go. There's a, that's a little loose area here. So we're riding the crown in the middle where the sand give us or the grass gives us some traction. You can see some loose areas here. What's crazy is just the cognitive load, especially for me not knowing the course, um, being the first race, you put a lot of trust in the guys in front of you, you know, the train can, it's, it's, it can be loose, um, but you're fighting to stay on wheels, you're fighting the train, like right here, you're kind of bunny hopping this uh, little um, dugout. Uh, wash out water area and you're just finding the right lines attempting not to run over these rocks that can, uh, can potentially cause a puncture um, and I mean, we're not going overly hard really uh, but the reality is it, it's a lot of mental focus focus and a lot of cognitive load just all throughout the uh, throughout the race and this type of terrain. No doubt road racing as well, where you're working on positioning and just staying safe, but on top of that, now we have to battle a, a terrain that is dynamic and um, can change, uh, just unfamiliar. A lot of trust in the guys around you, that's for sure. So it starts to swell here. Essentially, this is um, us just going to be riding together here. I'm probably about, about six wheel. Just going to see how it goes and pretty stay comfortable. So, here we're all riding together. Um, looks like we left off here. And we're going around this, more traction on uh, the left side there into the grass around the turn there, but uh, speed's pretty good. Guy in a blue helmet right kind of in the middle here, just goes right through the middle, that's his attack. Um, you'll see if we get a little shot on the left side, he starts to open the gap pretty darn quick right there. Um, speed picks up 23 miles an hour, we're doing 250 to 300 watts, um, 24 miles an hour, and we're just kind of looking to uh, not let him get too far here. Um, I'm obviously not at the very front to do the chase. He's uh, slowly, slowly increasing his gap here. And, uh, not letting him right away, just out on his own. You can see right there, there's a good uh, kind of uh, footage of his, uh, his gap there. I mean, if we're 
they're doing 24, he's got to be doing 26, 27, to just slowly open up his gap. We're at 26 miles an hour now, 400 watts. Working on chasing. So we're making sure he has to fight for his uh, for his lead there. Definitely not just uh, soft pedaling. Even behind these guys, 200 plus watts. Left hander here. Traction and not uh, cut it in too much with the speed we were going. on chasing. Let's see if we can get a picture or uh, get some footage of how far up he is. Well, 23, 24 miles an hour right now. And then pretty much right here, the emphasis and uh, the chase just pretty much just dies and um, pretty much the story is written he's, he's uh, gonna ride off and uh, that's his race there so that's Darren Downing um, we've come to the conclusion uh, letting him go. So here we are, just uh, if you look at the map, red uh, pink dots at the bottom now. So we're coming towards the end of the first lap, back to the finishing straight here. Um, two guys are kind of just pull slightly pulling away, but um, the U-turn just across the start finish. You'll see right up here. Yui here. And again, there's kind of two guys had a little gap on most of us here. And, um, there I go. I just go to fight because I don't want to let them get away. Um, and pretty much the main guy to close the gap here. Not going overly hard. And here we go, making contact back. This uh, WCC West Side, uh, West Coast Cycling guy, and then the guy in the mountain bike there with the black kid. So now we're uh, kind of just regrouping. Um, after I caught back on, you can see on the map there, we're kind of um, approaching slightly more technical areas. Um, and then the WCC guy, as you can see, starts to pull away there. Um, nobody just seems to be overly interested in chasing. Starts opening a gap, it gets a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Um, the guy, two guys right in front of me here are teammates. I think they're kids like SP USA something. Um, and the guy in the right, white kit uh, that just went past us, that's uh, Mike Rigsby. 
older guy, pretty strong, but uh, he takes the initiative to, uh, I don't know, build a bridge or kind of stimulate and start um, increasing the speed to uh, work on a chase, but uh, he goes past us and then I don't know if he actually just slows down or just stops, uh, stops spinning, but then it seems like all that work and effort just to pass us was... Uh, uh, was just lost and I, um, they were just kind of holding it easy at 20, 21 miles an hour. Um, I think my watts are about 100. So we're going through this uh, rocky area here. See if Rigsby's still uh, in the front of our group here. I remember uh, Darren Downey, he's still up ahead and then just then the WCC guy went up the road so now we're uh, that's for third but here's a technical area and going over this bridge here and then there's a vehicle there. Uh, I did not hit that bump that time off the bridge. I actually bunny hopped it. And then Again, the cognitive look, here's another car that just kind of comes out and everybody's calling it out just to stay safe. This is the cognitive load, the mental work and um, the constant need to be uh, paying attention. Uh, I mean, that probably take, is taking more calories. Here we go around uh, my grid too, but it takes more calories than um, the riding itself. So here we go, and I don't know the course, and then I felt that it was decently marked, but hey, just following the guys. Um, that was supposed to be a right turn there, and we corrected. Um, unfortunately, the group was slow enough going to the right that, uh, yeah, I lost a few positions, but we're pretty much all in the same group together. So again, we're all together. If you look on the top left there, uh, the two mountain bike dudes, the uh, white helmet, yellow bike, the guy to his left. So the pink, red mountain bike, you'll see them come around here. They were talking to each other and it seemed like they planned this. And then 90 miles an hour, and then here we go, 500 watts, 400 watts. We're already up to 23, 24 miles an hour that fast. Pushing it four or 500 watts here. These guys are definitely hammering it. There you go, 600 watts. Um, we're pushing the pace. Uh, those guys just drop the hammer. Um, and 26 miles an hour, 300 watts. Keep finding it. I don't know, there's probably about three or four other guys in front of me, not including the two mountain bike dudes that, that uh, initiated the attack there. But those guys were legit. I mean, again, right here, 450 watts. Going through some slightly loose areas, slightly uphill right there. And then kind of these slight bends here. You can look on the map. I'm just going around. I don't want to get gapped off. That quick and we're just pushing the pace here. So again I'm using a GoPro in the front. It's an old cube GoPro session here and image stabilization is quite incredible. Uh, it, looks, it looks pretty rocky here. There's a spot there, and then we come right at this right hander, a little chicane there. You can see the gap just starts open. Doing a lot, doing 50, 400, 450, and I mean, we're, we're pushing the pace here. Those guys pretty much drop the hammer. It's pretty crazy. 
And I don't know what gears they're running on their mountain bikes, but I mean, legit leg speed and, you know, just committing to a few minutes of just serious tempo to push the pace here. Doing your watch, pulling your watch. You can see riders, on oncoming riders, because this, uh, everybody's riding the, the same route. Um, and again, the endurance 60 mile uh, race uh, started before us, 15 minutes before us, so. So we never saw the mountain bike guys again and the footage here, if you look on the course, um, we are in the, about last two miles of the race here, heading back towards the start finish. So I'll kind of talk you guys into the last uh, couple miles of the race. Um, I think it's uh, Chris Pinkham, he's up in the front there. Um, he did a lot of work at the front. Pushing the pace there. I think that's him. Um, and then the guy in front of the Kush guy, so two wheels in front of me, um, that's the guy with the mountain bike with the arrow bars. Um, he's just hanging out on those arrow bars and doing work. So this is actually a Chris uh, with the Greenwood jersey, white Greenwood jersey here. So I, I latch on his wheel and um, he wants to push the pace. So I'll let him drag us in. I told him after the race, dude, you did too much work in the front. Um, strong though. I mean, I'm pushing 200, 250 watts. He's got to be doing probably close to 300 there. Um, but I just sit in um, as we pull into like I said, the last couple miles. But it's a steady ride in. You can see the guys behind us. Um, still a decent group of guys behind us. Um, let's say about 10, 15 guys total in this new group here. Pretty smooth here. Um, there'll be a section probably in about a quarter of a mile where uh, it does start to get a little loose and slightly squirrely. You can see yellow uh, race numbers there that differentiate the endurance distance versus us doing half of that. And again, at the tail end of our race here, about a mile left. Um, this part's still pretty packed. in front of us. I don't believe they're part of our race. We never saw uh, the two mountain bike guys again. Um, we did end up uh, catching the WCC guy that um, pulled away uh, from us. We caught him um, up at the lollipop area. So, um, in front of us is uh, Darren Downing, the two mountain bike guys. And so, best place finish of this group would be fourth. Um, me being uh, the sport class. Uh, and come to find out, uh, 
uh, the two mountain bike guys uh, were also the sport class, not the sport mountain. Um, and then, so this part's a little loose, really bumpy. You can kind of see there. It's like those bumps on the shoulder when you're riding, uh, driving on the road, when you're on the shoulder, um, reminds you to come back onto the road. So. It's starting to swell up a little bit. Uh, we're getting closer to the finish here. Um, you can see the guy with the arrow bars just right here to the right of me on the mountain bike. But I'm just holding wheel, not letting or attempting to let too many guys around uh, get around me. And just I'm sitting fifth right now of this group. Um, get close to home here. And you see the fish guy. He jumps, shoots it out here. 650 watts, 600 watts. Um, WCC guy in front of me here. And come to find out, I mean, this was from really far out. Definitely went way too early here. I'm pushing 300, 400 watts, and you know, guys coming around me. Um, just waited, should have waited, but started way too early. You know, the field here, and you know, pretty much just went one right here to the finish. And there's the race. All right there, right before the fence there. But uh, fortunate that uh, didn't have any mechanicals. Um, great first race, all my tactics appropriate, staying towards the front, staying comfortable, um, not doing too much work. So, real happy with the performance. Hey guys, uh, great race today. Um, I finished with the lead front group uh overall winner and the uh, winner of my class daryl downing um he had a breakaway or he broke away before the lollipop of the first lap and just stayed away um and then in the second lap after, right before the chicane two guys on mountain bikes um attacked and just ripped it up um that was the move they were in my class as well the sport sprint um they got second and third which put me in fourth place for my class but i think um possibly top 10 overall um great race uh these guys were solid had a perfect execution uh, riding at the front um but never uh with my nose in the wind um so uh great organization um i'll be back out to these events i think the 30 miler was perfect for me and uh my current training and where am i at where i am at uh just uh life work uh fitness balance so uh hope to be out more to these races and uh look forward to uh racing with these guys thanks guys we're coming at you very shortly in the next five minutes or less and we will do the sprint uh, overall. Not too long after that, I believe. Oh, no worries. We got some food being served. We got some uh, pulled pork up here. This is K Squared Cycling. Be coy, be 